Dominic Skanathony, good morning. It is early Saturday, um, July 7th, 2018, in the last quarter of the lunar cycle, Misamsota, uh, the long rains. And this is the weekend that I'm going up Chief Mountain, my annual pilgrimage. Got a group over here coming along with me. Gonna spend a night up there. It's the mountain. And, uh, yeah, I'll film, show you what we see along the way. It's always a really good experience. I already feel good being out here. Just the, the clean mountain air and stuff, I don't know. to the base camp but um, the wind is pretty brutal right here we're, we're a little bit sheltered but we're actually getting like thrown around by the wind on the hike up and uh, I think it's gonna be too windy on top of the mountain Seen dudes do it. about mountain climbing is all you gotta do is take another step and another step. <laughs> yeah. It all happens to assuming, you know what I mean? Eventually. If we sat there and assumed, yeah. you know, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. Letting those little crackles kind of scare us. Oh, it's the wind up there. Yeah. Carmen and Danielle Viel, their kids, they're coming up. So we're gonna make it, but it's gonna be windy up there.
it. We've got what may be, <laughs> we've got what may be the biggest marmot ever. Looks like a little wolverine. <laughs> it's a big animal. Yeah, I don't know where he went now. Yeah. It's a big, it, it's a marmot, I'm pretty sure. Big one though. I've never seen a marmot that big. Yeah, we've just started our hike out. The group is a little way ahead of me out in this direction um, because I had lost my microphone on this camera. And coming down into this mud flats, we noticed some stuff. I pulled out the camera to take some shots, realized my microphone was lost, so I had to go back to camp and look for it. And I found it, luckily. Um, otherwise, we'd have really crummy audio on my videos for a while. <laughs> but yeah, these mud flats down here are really neat because they show kind of what wildlife comes around. Um, you got these prints here. These are probably a deer, maybe a small elk, or it could be a sheep actually, probably more likely a sheep. Um, cause I see sheep up here, but the, the elk and the moose come up here as well. Um, not as often deer. In fact, I've never seen a deer up here, but definitely elk, moose, um, and bighorn sheep, Rocky Mountain goats, all that stuff comes up. This is the one I want to show though, up in here. Um, you see these prints here? Very large canine prints. I believe those are wolves. And, uh, Actually, last last or this morning, as I was kind of going in and out of, you know, I was having some intermittent sleep, and uh, this morning I heard barking of some canine. It, it must have been at least as big as a German Shepherd from the sound of the bark, you know, just the voice of it. Definitely not a coyote. So I'm pretty sure some wolves came by saw the camp, you know, that kind of thing, and uh, decide to leave us alone, which is always good. I've had wolves visit visit the camp before, so um, not surprising, and they don't bother anybody usually. Well, we have, I've never had them actually bother me for anything. Here's some other tracks I wanted to show you, right down in here. These are some big boys. That. That's a hoof print, as big as my hand. Pretty sure that's the moose, you know? Pretty sure that's the moose up here. So yeah, on the hike back now. Um, last night was kind of rough. Came down off the mountain. Um, everybody that packed stuff to sleep slept. But <clears throat> those that didn't pack stuff, and I always recommend doing this overnighter, but Sometimes people just want to be in a rush. And uh, those that did, I think for the most part, kind of regretted it because <laughs> um, one big party didn't even make it out. I got a message at 1.30 in the morning that I, I couldn't even see until I got up on the ridge to check messages. But 
yeah, 1 30 in the morning, one of the parties messaged me and they didn't make it out. They got lost. They had to just hunker down with no gear. That sucks. And they were lucky that we just, we didn't have any bad weather. So yeah, my recommendation out here, do Chief Mountain Climb, is just uh, pack for an overnight and take it easy. Mm. Really good clean water. Kind of a spring water that comes out of the side of the mountain and filters down through this wet meadow. Got lots of uh, good plants here too. You can see these. These are wild chives here. It's purple tips. Yummy, yummy. So yeah, I got water up here. Pretty much caught up to the group. I can see them down there, so. Making good time. good time down the mountain along the trail is a few of these big furry turds <laughs> my, my guess is wolf turd hey eh? because bear looks more like gum stone like a cow pile almost you know <laughs> 